<laughs> George is with us now. How good is that? It's nothing like going home. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. My mum's going to kill me for that. <laughs> she was very brave opening the door, letting you all she in, was, really, wasn't she? She was. My mum's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is all about your new show. It's on tonight, Council House Scandal. And as you say in, in the piece, and we see it there, you grew up in a council house and they were very, very happy days and very happy memories. And you're kind of trying to fight to bring that back again for people. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're in one of the biggest housing crises the country's ever seen, really. It's a massive affordability crisis. You know, so many young people just don't have a chance of having a decent roof over their head. And a lot of people are stuck in private rented accommodation, which is so expensive, they can't get a deposit together to buy. And you just think, you know what, the problem's getting worse and worse every year. We've got to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where I grew up, it was brilliant, you know, and I'm not just trying to romanticise it. Yeah. I could walk to school. My school was about a mile and a half away and I didn't have to cross a road. Yeah. And the landscape was beautiful. And yeah, we've, we've kind of stopped building council housing at the scale that we need to do it. And to be honest, whether you call it council housing, social housing, affordable housing, there's so many phrases around today. No, of course, but it is, in essence, it's a house to... Well, it's a home for life. For, at, yeah. at affordable rent, controlled rent that people can genuinely afford. And yeah. for me, I just think we need to start building again on, on quite a big scale. But it's not just a numbers game, it's about what we build as well. Yeah, of course, but that is the essence. It's needing to build again because that has stopped. And a lot of houses then were sold off to people who could then buy them themselves but they weren't replaced so yeah, that I mean, was the house that was gone you know right to buy was brought in um if you like to raise the aspirations of the country to yeah. to bring people up the social ladder and there's and, a place for that obviously, and there's a place for that. I, I mean i'd never have a problem with that but if you're going to sell a house off that's a council house you need to replace it for the next generation otherwise you get a massive shortfall i mean we used to have nearly six and a half million council houses in britain we've got two million now you know, and that's where the scandals come about for me. The and growing population, it's... Well, that, that as well. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can bombard you with so many boring stats you'd never believe, mm. but you know, over 40% of all council houses sold are now owned by private landlords that have been rented back yeah. in the private rental sector. Mm -hmm. So the whole system's fallen apart, and even Theresa May in January 2018 said the housing market's broken. Well, we've got to do something pretty radical and brave to fix it. Well, it seems to be that Vienna have sort of nailed well, people it. People see the benefit of that to society mm. generally. And I mean, I don't want to get into any politics about it, but I just think if we are a nation that is all about expensive houses and unaffordable houses and not caring about people who are genuinely in need, then everything starts to fall apart. And I mean, I'm, I've been an ambassador for shelter for many, many years, and I see the awful effects that it has on people when they don't have a decent roof over their head. And Vienna was... I mean, I couldn't believe it. Mm, Genuinely, yeah. I couldn't believe it. And I there's one, no stigma. There's no a stigma. little bit of a stigma, and I think that needs to shift as well. That is a bit of an issue. Yeah, well, on my estate, when I grew up, there was no stigma. Mm, you know, there was many council houses built for many families. It wasn't about people being on benefits. Yeah. People worked. You know, they earned their money, they paid their taxes, and as long as they paid their rent to the council, they had a home for life. And that's life. the way it is in Vienna, isn't it? It doesn't Absolutely. matter actually where you are yeah. on this. On Absolutely. This and set. now I think, unfortunately in Britain, it, it's so much about home ownership and climbing onto the property ladder and making money on your house every year. I mean, I hear all the time people go, oh, I've made so much money on my house this year. And I think, all right, good for you. That's great, but what about the next generation yeah. coming through? And there is this awful stigma attached to council housing and social housing, which I think is a real shame, but a lot of that comes about because we're building such a low number, mm. it's going to people who are really struggling, so therefore people go, do you know what, that's... That's the worst in society. And I, I think that's a terrible reflection on where we are, really. Yeah, of course. Well, you've got, been given a project in Manchester, which will be an interesting one now. Uh -huh, so you've yeah. been busy given this plot of land and you're going to try and yeah, well, do we're gonna, what we're, you've been talking about. We're doing about. it. I mean, we're designing it now. <laughs> that's um, fantastic. I, I wish I could have made two more episodes straight after this one, but it takes a long time to get stuff built. Um, so, yeah, tonight's the first step, but then next year we're going to follow up with programmes about the build. You see, you're so passionate about what you do. I mean, because you love being an architect. First and foremost, that is what you are because you watching you on the telly you're such a natural you kind of almost forget that no 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 he's got a real job <laughs> <laughs> doesn't feel like a real job no sometimes. i know it just merges perfectly though doesn't it <laughs> yeah, i mean i love i love architecture i love designing and i love housing and i love seeing the difference that a great home makes to people's lives mm. and i mean as an architect i've got the best job in the world and i love it and yeah you know, a lot of people go god you must like really fake your enthusiasm on telly i'm like no no that's what i'm like that's the buzz that i get <laughs> out of redesigning someone's house for them